10 days ago, we reported on what Youngstown code enforcement officers are calling an illegal junkyard on Wick Avenue. One reason the junkyard even exists is because so many vehicles in Youngstown are being red tagged and towed because people have abandoned them and they've becoming blight. Red tagging and towing is our top story tonight at 10. The Wick Avenue junkyard has vehicles and boats and campers in various states of disrepair. And some of them have red tags too. And most of the ones that we do are red tagging right now are either parked on the front yard somewhere, inoperable, or uh, do not have a valid license plates. Mike Durkin's Code Enforcement Office does the red tagging. Durkin says last year, from March to December, 122 vehicles were red tagged in Youngstown, 35 of which were towed. So far this year, 68 have been red tagged, 16 of which were towed. Most of the time, it's not just one vehicle. We're always towing two, three, four, five cars from a property. So, you know, we got to go back and keep going back. So um, it does take time to get it done. It's a pretty big issue. Councilwoman Samantha Turner represents the third ward in which the Wick Avenue junkyard is located. Turner says an average of six vehicles a week are being red tagged in her ward alone. Four years ago, I towed a car off of Emerson that had sat for about eight years in a driveway in an occupied home, but it was creating a rodent problem. Cars are also often left abandoned in vacant commercial buildings. Here at Market in Philadelphia in what was Mufflers USA, a collapsed back wall has placed the 1928 structure on the demolition list. But among the debris, part of a car is visible, one of five left inside. Durkin says this happens all the time. The tow truck companies won't just yank a car out of a collapsed structure, you know, so they'll have to wait until we pull it out and then we got to get them there. So it's, it's a process. Back on Wick Avenue, much of the junkyard is now wrapped in tarp, hiding the vehicles from view. I, I can understand why they needed some place for them, but in a neighborhood, again, is not the place for you them. You still want to move? They need to be moved, yes. And they are coming. They'll be up on their 30 days in a couple weeks here, and we'll be standing right here making sure that that happens. Mike Durkin says there have been positive developments over the past week on removing the Wick Avenue junkyard. The city is working with other junkyards to possibly take the vehicles. He's hopeful that they will be moved soon.